This is the kingdom of toys. Welcome, Orange. This is my kingdom, and I'm the king. Orange, I hear that you like Pokemon very much. I feel the same way. Which leads me to an important request. Did you know that many toy Pokemon live in this world? They're so cute, but it's not easy to capture them. Even I, the king, have only this one Pikachu. However, a magician showed up here the other day with 10 species of Pokemon. Well, I say, my request is this. Go out and collect more Pokemon than that magician had. At least 11 species. I just can't stand that magician's bragging. I've heard that your dream is to collect many Pokemon. I don't know how hard it will be to collect 11 species, but I'm positive you can do it. In fact, I'm counting on you to do it, Orange. Now, let's see how well you can do. I'll lend you Pikachu and my hot air balloon. Capture some Pokemon and come back. And that we shall do! What's up everyone and welcome to Pokemon Rumble World! I'm so excited to begin this game, we just finished Rumble U, and that was actually the first Pokemon Rumble game I completed. I'd played since the very first one, but I never actually beat a Rumble game, and now that we did beat that one in cooperation, I'm just really excited to get started on this one, which just came out today on the Nintendo eShop. It is actually a free-to-play game, so if you guys would like to join me on this new adventure, you can download the game free to play from the Nintendo eShop on the 3DS. A Habitat for Wild Pokemon is ahead! So let's get right into it. If you guys are excited for this new playthrough, be sure to leave a like and I'll be bringing you some more episodes, I guess. I really don't know how this game plays compared to the other ones, the other Rumble games, but every Rumble game so far has kind of had a little twist to it. Uh, like how Rumble U, I guess it wasn't really that different, but it did differ in that everything was kind of an arena and this one seems to be a little bit more like... Uh, Pokemon Rumble for the Wii, and I don't remember Rumble Blast, I don't think I really played much of that one, but I know Pokemon Rumble for the Wii, uh, it was more like levels, like you'd go through routes and stuff, instead of just being like a battle arena, uh, like Rumble U was. And you did collect coins as well, I mean, you kind of collect coins in all of them, but yeah, as you can see in this game, um, your Mii characters take a huge part in it, so I'm excited to see what that's all about, how your Mii characters play into it. One thing that a few people said about this game though, because it is free to play, uh, and Pokemon Shuffle was also free to play, apparently that game had a lot of like microtransactions in it. Uh, but from what I've heard so far in this game, hey, we got a Torchic already, nice. Man, we're just right into this game, this is awesome, that's, that's how I like it. Press X to switch Pokemon, and we can choose Torchic, I guess. I kind of wanted to stick with Pikachu, but I guess that's okay, we can swap out. Um... But yeah, this game apparently is a lot better with that, so hopefully my wallet won't be too hurt from playing this. Like I said, it is free to download, so at least playing it is free, so all of you guys can get into this awesome game free of charge, as long as you have a 3DS, of course. Help me! Oh, there's our little me character. Oh my god, he's being attacked by Trico! Leave him alone! That's my trainer right there! Thank you! Oh, this is, this is me talking now. The me character you save will support you with various items. Oh, nice! So they actually do take part in the gameplay as well. I didn't even know that, man. So you learn something new every day, and now we got ourselves a Trico. But it wouldn't really be too smart to bring out Trico against a bunch of other grass types, now would it? Now would it? However, in this upcoming area, it looks like we might have some Mudkips. Um, what? A Swamper? Okay, let's get out of here. Trico has got Absorb. So let's bring this bad boy out, and oh my god, no! My switch failed! Ugh, I didn't know that we couldn't get hit. I was like, yeah, there must be some drawback to swapping out our Pokemon, isn't there? There we go, now we can make quick work of them with our little Trico partner. A Swampert is charging up a nasty attack there. Oh my gosh, he's like a boss battle. Alright, I'm actually gonna leave him alone for a little bit though, because I wanna see if we can capture a Tree or a Mudkip, not Trico, we already have Trico. I might, I think the game might be scripted so that you get the Pokemon that you're fighting. Wait, what the heck? I see like a Mega Swampert down there in the bottom screen. Could we get a Mega Swampert? What? That'd be crazy. On the first level? I don't think so. I know this game does have Mega Evolutions, which sounds amazing, uh, but I don't think you'd get one in the very first level. I think that's just regular old Swampert. And never mind, because we're not even going to get Swampert. Alright, that kind of sucks. We're not even close to getting the 11 species of Pokemon that the King wants, but... 
I don't know. We got two. I guess we have three total now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I really don't know how the microtransactions and all that work. So we'll see in a little bit. This was just the tutorial level. There's way more to explore in this game. And I don't know if it has multiplayer as well, but if it does have multiplayer, then I could also bring along some friends later on, uh, like we did that co-op of Rumble U. But here we go, we see the Pokemon that we captured. We got Torchic, and we got Trico, the most powerful. Of course, it was the latest one we caught, so it's gotta be the most powerful. Orange, I'm overjoyed that you brought back Pokemon. Just as I hope, you're the perfect person for collecting Pokemon. I dub thee an official adventurer, endorsed by the king himself. You may have these to help you prepare for your adventure. And we're gonna get 15 Poke Gems, I think is what they're called. Poke Diamonds, my bad. Get your own hot air balloon with the Poke Diamonds and set out on your Pokemon search. You can get hot air balloons at the shop in the castle town. Go now, Adventurer Orange! Ah, oh, look at that, they're making such cute little faces. Man, I love Miis. I don't know, the Miis weren't very good when the Wii first came out, but I think they're pretty good now. Uh, it would be better if they had more clothes and stuff, but that's what's cool about some of the games that use Mii characters. It's like Smash Bros and stuff, they have clothes that you can put on them, and it's a lot more customizable, and it makes them actually kind of fun. So, let's get a hot air balloon at the shop. Ooh, we can move around. Oh, I thought we got to control our actual character. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's funny. So we have Pikachu, we've got Orange with one little crown, and where the heck is Torchic? There we go! Hi, Torchic! What's up, man? Here's the balloon shop. Hot air balloons for all destinations depart here. And we've got the shop for goods of all sorts. Welcome! You can get hot air balloons here! Well, why wouldn't... I want to see the extras. It's more important right now. Pokemon house, support power, casting power, fashion power. Oh my goodness, we gotta get this. It's a stylish person's dream. You'll be able to modify your outfit a la carte. And we get clothes as well for our me character. Oh, look at that. We do get to dress him up. But apparently you buy these with P. So there's three forms of currency, it looks like. There's crowns, there's Poke Diamonds, and there's P. P you get through the game itself. Poke Diamonds are the, I guess, thing you buy with real money. And then crowns, I'm not really sure. I think that's just for beating levels. But yeah, see, Poke Diamonds you can buy with actual money. Um, so this will probably take you to the eShop, which I don't want to do right now. Maybe in the future I'll actually buy some of those just to make the the game a little bit easier on us. Whoa, what? You just gave us a candy, dude. That's awesome. Thanks for the candy, my man. There is a hot air balloon shop, though. But I guess you have to buy them over here and then take them to the other shop. Okay, now I got this. All right, so let's check out... The hot air balloons we got leafy balloon dew balloon and ember balloon uh, now they cost 10 pokey diamonds so we can only buy one of these right now so which one will we go for this one's got flabebe uh, this one's got fletching there I kind of want to go for this one because it's got my boy fuego it's got Fennekin, and it's got uh, fletching fletchling not fletching there so let's go for the ember I really like fire types so we're gonna go for this one visit the balloon stop next to this shop to ride hot air balloons you obtained Alright, we'll do that, lady. I already know we gotta go here. So, let's see. We've got uh, the Ember Mountains, it looks like. That's what we got from the Ember Balloon. So, let's head off over there. Why the heck not, man? It's not like we've got any other levels to explore yet. Oh, we only get to choose one? Ooh, well, I kind of want to go for Charmander. So, let's see if I can... Oh! Oh, wait. Aw, oh, come on. Uh, at least we get... Braxian? Braxian? Whatever that Pokemon is called? I don't know how to say the evolution of Fennekin, honestly. I still don't know. Oh god, this is not a good- This is not a good matchup for Trico. Can we swap? Oh, we can. Alright, let's go for Pikachu. Really hope we don't get burned here. Whoa, we already got a Fennekin doll, too. Oh, and there's Simiseers in here. Or Panseer, I guess. What's the first one? Simi or Pan? I don't know, man. Some of these Pokemon- It's not that I don't remember their names, but it's like they- They, they kind of have confusing names, okay? Panseer, there we go, it says it on the bottom screen, so my bad, it actually does say it, and we got some little Nita Rans, the heck are you trying to do here, bruh, trying to shoot poison at me, no, I'm Pikachu, I don't take this from no one, oh god, never mind, we did take it, oh no, we're poisoned now, oh gosh, alright, I wonder what's in these little barrels, oh, we got Nita Ran as well, alright, so I'm gonna try to aim to catch as many Pokemon as we can, because obviously, that's what the king wants from us, he wants us to get Oh, whoops. My game audio was playing in the background. Not really that whole time, but I think at some point. So I hope there wasn't too much echo. I don't think there would have been. Uh, but we already got two out of the 
looks like six Pokemon that we can potentially get in this area. So between this area and the first one, we can already get the 11 that the king wants. So I think that's what we're going to do is try to go back to the first area uh, and see if we can get the 11. Oh, we got another Fennekin. We got three of them so far. Not Braxian. Braxian might be the boss of this area by the looks of it. Oh god, too much poison for me, man. I don't like this. Oh boy. Stop trying to poison me, bros. My bros. Is this Nita Nidorina? I think that the, some of these are Nidorina. I don't know. Nidorina and Nidoran female look ex almost the same. Same thing with Nidoran male and Nidorino. Actually, no, Nidorino looks really different. But Nidorina, I think Nidorina looks really similar to Nidoran female. Um, either way, I think Nidoran is so weird. Like, if Nidoran had been in 5th uh, generation, I think I've said this before, or 6th generation, sorry. It would have been like Meowstic, like it wouldn't have been two separate Pokemon. It probably just would have been the one and the gender split would have made the difference. Kind of like Meowstic and uh, Esper. Although I guess it would have been the opposite because Esper is just one Pokemon and it can evolve into two different ones. Or I guess it can evolve differently depending on gender, not really two different Pokemon species per se. I don't know man, it's getting too complex in here now. So anyway, we got the boss coming up and it is Braxian. Um, since we already have Fennekin, I don't think it's really worth too much trouble, uh, oh gosh, too much trouble fighting the little ones here. I probably should have gone back and caught a Mudkip, uh, would have made this level a lot easier in my opinion. But that's okay, because we got, oh god, I think we'll eventually beat it, it's just gonna take us a little while. We're actually burned right now too, so that's not good. Ooh, I might want to switch Pokemon actually. Um, we got a ton, ton, ton of Fennekins and even a couple of Nidorans, so let's see who's got the highest power, this one here. Alright, let's go for it. Don't hit me, bro! Oh, gosh! Oh, we got it. How come Iris doesn't have Ember? We only have Scratch. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're doing a lot more damage. Never mind, man. We're good with this Fennekin. Okay. I was saying, man, if we had Mudkip, that would be pretty good. But, nope, this this Fennekin is doing quite a lot of damage, even to the boss here. Look at that. I right, just gotta dodge that, and blam! Already took it out. Oh, baby. Not gonna get the breaks in, though, man. I never get lucky with the bosses. Same thing happened in Rumble U. I would never actually get the boss Pokemon. Oh, the coins are like almost, they're, they're a little bit magnetic towards you, but not exactly. So pick up one more Fennekin off of that and we completed this level. All right, let's skedaddle, man. For some reason, there was also Need Arena and Nido Queen, I think, at the bottom screen, but maybe we can't find those. Holy crap. Look at how many of these we got. One of those had a crown. Oh, we went up in rank. That's what it is. That's what the crowns is, is our rank. Okay, so I guess uh, the higher we go in rank, we can buy more stuff as well. Welcome back. You're really good at collecting Pokemon. Well done. You've reached Adventurer Rank 2. Exactly. You have no idea what I'm talking about. It's an Adventurer Ranking System. I rank an Adventurer skill based on the number of Pokemon species collected. I guess since we've got five of them, now we get a higher rank. As your adventurer rank goes up, you'll be the center of admiration. Strong Pokemon will befriend you too. Keep up the good work and collect more Pokemon to raise your rank. Will do, Kingy boy. Will do. We've got five species, so we get adventurer rank two. In this game, you play your play data and the messages you enter are exchanged with other players via wireless connection. And I guess so. We'll do Street Pass. Why the heck not, man? It's not like I'm ever going to meet anyone that is playing this game, probably. But in case we do, you know, we can street pass with them. I guess we'll do spot pass as well. I don't see why not, man. I just, I do not see why not. Uh, but on our bottom screen, you can see we've now got 15 out of 30 Pikachu things. I don't know what that means, but hey, we're Fennekin now. Ah, and there's just going to be a ton, ton, ton of Fennekin out here because that's all we caught in that last level. Fennekins and Nidorans. Uh, do you have something for us? Oh, does he? Wait, I want to talk to him. Talk to the trainer. There we go. Hey, another piece of candy. Nice. All right, now I want to see what this visitors thing is all about. Me characters were visited. Sometimes give you Poke Diamonds. Too bad we're never going to get anyone. Uh, we can call someone. Sure, why not, dude? Let's go. Once a day for free. We got to do it. Got to do it. Uh, did I say no? Well... I guess we're not going to do it. We might do it in the next episode, though, but I kind of want to switch back to Trico because he's awesome. I just like Trico. He's, he's so cool. Not quite as strong as Fennekin, but I like him. Whoa, what? I can jump? I didn't know I could jump. 
That's so cool, man. Uh, but I guess that is gonna be the end of this episode. But before we do end it off, let's buy some clothes. We got Pokemon money now, so we can buy a nice uh, white checked tee. Or let's see, none of this is bought with P. Oh, actually, some of it is bought with P, but we gotta have at least rank six. It looks like to buy this stuff. In the Poke House, we need rank three. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get our rank up and get some more Pokemon going. So as always, if you would like to see more of this game, be sure to leave a like down below. It would be awesome if you could do that, and I would love you forever. Episode 2 should be coming out tomorrow, and from there we can just keep going on daily. Depends on how much of this game I can keep going on until I actually have to buy Poke Diamonds. I don't know, but it's really fun so far, so I'm looking forward to the rest. Hope you guys are as well, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.